Long ago, when the lands were at war, it was the hidden hand of the shinobi that often turned the tide of battle. Even today, as peace reigns, shinobi must continue to work behind the scenes, defending their lands and their people. That's why, here in the Hidden Leaf Village, you will find a new generation of young shinobi apprentices, all dreaming of being the heroes of tomorrow. But for Naruto Uzumaki, it's not about being a hero. It's about training hard in the hopes of someday becoming Hokage. Man, it's hot. Oh, shut up, Naruto. We've got our new summer uniforms. What more do you want? Stop complaining. Just hang in there. The rendezvous point is right up ahead here. Some B-ranked mission this is. This person was supposed to escort. He's important, right, Kakashi-sensei? According to Lady Tsunade, he is. Huh? All for one person? All these wagons? What the heck are they all for? My shopping! Uh, oh, I saw so many wonderful things in all the lands we visited, I had to have them. So I just kept buying and buying, and before I knew it, I ended up with all this. <laughs> I am the prince of the land of the moon. I'm Michiru. And you, I take it, are from the village hidden in the leaves, your majesty. I'm Kakashi Hatake. I'm the squad leader. This is Naruto Uzumaki. How'd you do? Sakura Haruno. Pleasure's mine. And Rock Lee. Sir! The four of us are your escort. We're here to see you safely home to your kingdom. Well, I can see I'm in good hands. Well, hello. Aren't you the pretty one? Far too pretty to be a ninja. Don't be deceived, she's well qualified. You don't say. Thank you. I'm glad you've come. Oh, that's all right, really. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, you're in good hands. <laughs> uh, I see. Very impressive. <laughs> <gasps> Defensive positions, take cover! We're under attack! In real life, you'd be dead. Huh? Father, are you sure about these people? They don't really look like much of an escort. Especially not the short one. Hey, wait just a minute there, you little... Oh, I hope you'll forgive my son, Hikaru. He's in that mischievous stage that boys go through. Nice to meet you, Hikaru. Well then, shall we be off? Just deal with it. Remember what Lady Tsunade said. If any harm comes to the prince, we'll have an international incident on our hands. southern seas lies the Crescent Island, and on it, the Land of the Moon, a tropical resort famous for its dazzling beaches and luxurious casinos, a paradise on Earth. Everyone wants to go there at least once in their life, to walk those golden beaches, smell the sea breeze. Huh, I'd like to go there myself. Yeah, and to gamble in those ritzy casinos, right, Grandma Tsunade? <clears throat> Never mind. Yeah!
prince and his son are returning from a royal tour of many lands. Your mission is to see them safely home. Their last bodyguards quit. Apparently, they couldn't stomach the job. Was it that difficult? I put Rock Lee on your squad for the time being. I expect you all to get along, understood? Yes, ma'am. I can't emphasize enough the importance of this mission. Normally, I'd assign it to Jonin-level ninja, but... Well, just keep on your toes and get it done. Right. Will do! <laughs> so, Prince Michiru, I assume you plan on being king one day. Oh yes, once my papa retires. Of course, he's in perfect health, so that won't be for a while, and I'm in no so, hurry. So, uh, my what game you playing over there, huh? In order to, you know, broaden my horizon. Looks like it must be fun. Tell me. What kind of king does the Leaf Village have? We don't have a king. So much for trying to be friendly. Fine, be that way. Woman, a shinobi. Is the title of Hokage passed down from generation to generation? No, the title goes to whoever's best at securing the peace and harmony of the village, no matter who it might be. Even this guy. In fact, it's Naruto's dream to be Hokage someday. And in order to make that dream real, He's willing to risk his life and push himself to the limit every day. Really? Impressive. Nah, it's just what we do, you know, part of our training. Not that big a deal. How stupid. Hmm? Uh... What? Did you say something? I didn't quite catch that. Hey, you! I'm talking to you, you stuck up loose! Ah! Huh? Calm down, you hear? Dangerous, the only one of his kind in captivity. And here's Chamu's friend and partner, Kiki. <laughs> and now, Chamu and Kiki have a very special treat for you. off by a fraction of an inch. It's goodbye, Kiki! All right. We need absolute silence, everyone. Huh? 
easy shot. Bravo! Good eye, Sonny! However, let's see you handle this! Go ahead, try it now! And if you make it, you win a prize! Remarkable. The boy has talent. <laughs> what a great shot. I've never seen anything like it. I've done harder ones. Hmm, you deserve a prize for that one. Yeah. Now, let me see. What do you think about a beautiful... Huh? Uh, well, Chamo? Oh, oh, he's too big and dangerous, Sonny. Besides, with Chamu gone, I wouldn't have a show. I don't care. I want it. Well, even so, you have to understand. Father, please. Sure, why not? You know, I've always wanted my own circus. Why don't we buy the whole thing, tent and all? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Is that for real? Hey! Stop you can cash that as soon as we get to the island, all right? Look, he's been standing up. He's never seen so many zeros in his life. Amazing, this guy bought the whole circus? Yeah, that's rich. <laughs> well, to be honest, I've always wanted to play the Land of the Moon. A delightful place from all I've heard. Uh, don't worry, Your Highness. We'll give you a great show. You won't regret it. Hungry? Oh, go! Ah! <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Sonny, he's a wild animal. Be careful, he doesn't like humans, not even me. I Listen don't... here, you've got to do something about him. He's dangerous. Of course, we'll, we'll, we'll lock him up in his cage and keep him under guard at all times. Won't happen again. <laughs> that was a little scary, huh? I... Hey! Wait! Don't thank me! I only saved your life, is all! Yeah! Yeah! Prince, I'm afraid a storm at sea has prevented the royal yacht from meeting us here as expected. I've had to make provisional arrangements for another ship to take us home. But not to worry, it won't be long. Very well. In the meantime, I have an important call to make here anyway. <laughs> Father, hmm? where are we going? We're going to visit your mother. <laughs> How wonderful to see you, Amayo! Who are you? Oh, 
How can you say that, Amayo? Don't you recognize me? Impossible. Michiru? Of course it's me! What? No! No, I don't believe it! You're too fat! Well, if I am, it's only because of you. Ever since you left me, eating's the only thing that could help me forget my loneliness. Oh. I'm so lonely without you. So is Hikaru. Please come home where you belong. No, I can't be with you anymore. My only regret is Hikaru. If I hadn't signed that stupid wedding contract, I'd keep him here with me and raise him myself. Why do you hate me so much, Amayo? I gave you everything you ever wanted, didn't I? Wasn't it enough? Oh, Michiru, you never gave me the most important thing. Huh? Hmm. How about a new palace? A pink one? No! Oh. Hmm. Then, how about a villa for your parents? That way they could live with us year-round, even in the winter. No! Uh. Be so mean. Come on, come live with me again. I'll give you anything you want. Name it. You want the royal jewels? You can have them, my love. Anything, Amaya. I'd even give up the land of the moon for you. You really haven't changed at all. Even now, you haven't got a clue, have you? About what really matters. Understand. What more could she want? Prince Michiru, may I have a word with you about our departure plans? Hmm? Oh, all right. It's proving difficult to fit everything on board the ship, after all. We may have to send some things later. to believe, isn't it? That she's the boy's mother. Yeah, she got sick and tired of living with the prince, so she left three years ago. <laughs> Can't say I blame her. <laughs> well, I'm gonna see how the loading's coming along. Okay. Is it good? What? Oh, yeah, not as fancy as what you're used to, but I like it. Huh? You should be my vassal. Say what? Serve me as my vassal, and I'll give you anything you want. Not a chance. Don't you like games? Or toys? I can give you all the games and toys you'd ever want. Ugh. Forget it, kid! I'm not gonna be your vassal or whatever it is, okay? <sighs> Grow up! Stop looking down on people! have everything your own way. That's not the way things work. Naruto! Did you do what I think you just did? Slow down, Sakura. I was just showing him. Thank you. 
untie me. What's the big deal? You don't go around whacking the son of a prince. Face it, you have to apologize. No! Forget it! Never! Not a chance! Suit yourself. <laughs> but you're missing one heck of a party. What are you doing? <laughs> Cut that out, soccer, and let me out of here. I'm starving! in danger of falling overboard along with the animals. We'll do something then. I didn't bring those things all this way just to lose them at sea. Prince Michiru will double your fee. Please save the cargo. We'll do what we can. It's the animals I'm worried about. The circus people will help you. Hurry, there's no time to lose. Get up. We're gonna need your help. Oh. Easy for you, you're not starving. What's the point? Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Who cares about the stupid animals? Just let them drown. <laughs> What'd you say? What did you just say? Huh? Anyway, it's too dangerous out there. Uh, you spoiled little brat! First you buy them like they're a bunch of toys, now you're bored of them so you just want to toss them in the trash! You'd let all those animals die? Why, you stinking little... <sighs> uh, what am I doing? You're not worth the effort. You're a waste of space. Just go back to bed and stay out of our way.
Huh? Hey, watch out, Sonny. Get back. Amazing! I've never seen Chamu do that with anyone before. Go on. Hey. I, I just wanted to say. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh? I shouldn't have whacked you, and I shouldn't have said those things. So, I'm sorry. Man. You were great. <laughs> Maybe a little reckless, but you sure get points for guts. <laughs> and I'm not the only one who knows how brave you were. They know it, too. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> I'm sorry, too, for everything I did and said. That goes for you, too. Sorry, Chamu. I got mad when you didn't trust me right away. You see, all I wanted was for you and Naruto to be my friends. I've never been able to make friends. I don't know how. <laughs> Is that all you wanted? Why didn't you say so? You want a friend? You got one. From here on out, we're officially friends. You mean it? Yeah. <laughs> now you've got three friends. Four friends. Make that five. Uh, what is it? The trip's almost over. Once we get to my island, you'll all be going home. Yeah, that's true. So what? Who cares? Huh? We'll just have to make a promise to each other. I'll promise never to forget you if you'll do the same. Deal? Friends forever? Deal. <laughs> Wait a second, what about us? <laughs> oh, sorry. So we're, all of us, friends forever, right? Right. That's right. Yeah. Be sure to come visit us at the palace. Thank you, Your Highness. It will be an honor. Right. Let's be off. Welcome to the land of the moon, nature's playground. Home of surf, <laughs> sand, and sun. After a day of fun on our shimmering coral beaches, don't forget to visit our elegant shops and casinos. And stop by for a cool drink at the Crescent Restaurant on the main promenade. How strange. These streets are usually bustling. Where did everybody go? This place is like a ghost town.
not much of a welcome home. Ah, Shabadaba! Well, well, if it isn't Michiru, back from your travels, I'm sure you must be exhausted. You and young Hikaru are well, I hope. Yes, thank you, Shabadaba. What's going on in town? Where is everyone? There was no one to meet us. Shabadaba? Where is my father? Is something wrong? Why didn't he come? The king, I'm afraid, is dead. What? I rule in the land of the moon now, which means there's no need for you anymore, prince. <laughs> Kill them all! All of you, get ready! Prince Michu, get back in the coach! Drive that coach out of here! Hurry! Which side? It's Koriga! Captain Koriga, sir! What are you waiting for? He's a traitor! Kill him! I am no traitor! Come to your senses! It's Lord Shabadaba who's the traitor! This is madness! We're all brothers in arms. Thanks. Who are you, anyway? Leaf Village Ninja, hired by the Prince. I see. I'm glad you're here. We've got to move, fast. Can you drive that coach? I'm on it. Sorry, there wasn't time to send warning of what's happened here. Where are we headed? I have men stationed in the mountains. We'll go there for now. Sheesh. Some reception. This isn't what I expected from the land of the moon. I've seen graveyards livelier than this. <laughs> hmm? Hey. The prince's coach. Where are they going? clashes of late between the king and some of his ministers led by Shabadaba. Each side has different ideas of where they want to lead this land. The king hoped to reason with them and one day bring them around to his point of view. But meanwhile, Shabadaba took matters into his own hands. He plotted to overthrow the king. By chance, we discovered his plot in time and informed his majesty. He realized the time had come to confront his ministers. He knew this could be dangerous, so he sent Prince Michiru and his son on a royal tour of many lands in order to protect them. <gasps> That's why you sent us away to protect us. Once you were safely out of the way, the king moved to settle the matter, but it was too late. 
Shabadava had already hired shinobi mercenaries to secure his position. We were outmaneuvered and outmanned. We barely managed to escape in the nick of time. But the king, to my shame, did not. <laughs> Grandpa. Let me take a look at his injuries. Turned to stone. Yes. One of these three shinobi has possession of a special jutsu. And due to my negligence, he was able to use it on the king. What do you think? It's worth a try, at least. Unacceptable! We let both of them get away! Blast! 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 They had good bodyguards. What? Is that all you have to say? Calm down. They may be strong, but we're stronger still. I have no doubt we can handle them. I hope so. It would be annoying to find out I paid you all that money for nothing, Ishidate. Hmm. Well, Sakura? I can treat petrification without a problem, but in order to be reversed, it needs to be treated immediately. I understand. It's just that so much time has passed. There's nothing I can do. You're home, Michiro. Papa! Grandpa! Majesty. Hikaru too. Wonderful. I see. So it was you who protected them. My friends, I thank you all. Tell me, how fares the land of the moon? Not well, Your Majesty. It appears that soon the whole island will be under the rebels' control. I see. Michiru, what comes to your mind when you think about this land of ours? Oh, it's a wonderful place. Beautiful and prosperous and wealthy. That's right. But I see now that happiness and wealth are not necessarily the same thing. Oh. Joy. Happiness. Our hopes and our dreams. A place of peace and harmony. That's the sort of land I envisioned. I thought Shabatava shared my dream. But I could never get him to see it. Such a pity. I'm not sure I understand either, Papa. You talk just like a Mayo. A Mayo? Are the two of you? What a shame. She told me I don't have any clue about what really matters. Amayo always was a very sensible girl. I had hoped she'd be a good influence. That with a little time, her common sense, I never dreamed she'd be the one to give up. Such a pity. Yes, that's right. What really matters. Michiru? Yes? One request. My last wish. <gasps> Grandpa! Papa! It's very Grandpa, important no. what I have I to tell you, my son. This isn't no. the way I imagined it happening. Oh God, I know it will be hard, but you must face it. Please, Papa! Starting now, you are the king. <laughs> You, Leaf Village Shinobi. Sir. I know. I have no right to ask this of you. But as you are an honorable man, 
I made this last request. Of course. Look after them. Protect them, please. With our lives, your majesty. I thank you. Michiro. I depend on you. <gasps> Father was always kind to me. He made that bow for me. He always used to watch me practice. And whenever I made a bullseye, he was even happier than I was. I loved him so much. Do you think you understand what your grandpa was trying to say? <laughs> I think I understand, sort of. It's about what happens here in your heart. In the Leaf Village, old man Hokage was like my grandfather. He kind of looked after me when he was alive. And when he died, it was like he left everything for me to look after. And so that's why I promised myself that someday I'll be Hokage. What your grandpa left is something very precious. And you and your father, it's up to both of you to keep it safe. What if it's really that precious? I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Of course you are, or at least you will be. But... We're friends, right? So someday when I'm Hokage and you're king, our two lands will be friends too. Really? If the land of the moon is ever in trouble, the Leaf Village will be there for you. And you'll do the same for me, right? Okay? Yeah. All right, then, it's a promise. From this day on, friends forever, no matter what. Friends forever. There are simply too few of us. We haven't a chance against the traitor Shabadaba and his forces. For now, the only thing to do is get the prince and his son out of the land of the moon. We'll go to the other lands, our allies, and hope that they'll help us with more troops. Where are they? Captain Koriga! There's a ship waiting for you all just beyond the bay. Hmm. Excellent. Well done. Right. Let's go. <gasps> Father! It's time! Let's go! Huh? <gasps> oh. Go on ahead. Get up! You gotta go! I know, I know. Just a minute. Are 
You really that stupid? We knew that you'd arranged for a ship. We've been watching the coast, just waiting for you to show up. Now then, hand over the prince and his son. Yeah, like that'll ever happen! Get lost! Hmm. Aren't you the spunky one? <gasps> What's wrong? What are you swinging at? <laughs> That's enough. Oh, really? Shinobi, I've heard you're good. But I wonder, are you as good as I am? One way to find out. <laughs> Genjutsu. So, now I get it. It was that paper bomb. Exactly. Effective, isn't it? An odorless poison that slows the reflexes. And until it wears off, you're all sitting duck. <laughs> <laughs> so much for a test of strength. It was over before it even began. Still face me. I will avenge our king or die. Captain Koriga! Uh, Captain! Hmm. What a remarkable look on his face. I'd almost say I created a work of art. Almost. It's not quite right. <laughs> this to be more fun. 
So that's it, eh? How disappointing. It's over, kid. <laughs> Enough, we're pulling out. <sighs> Sensei, darn it. Put us through a great deal of trouble, you royal tub of lard. Why are you doing this? My father was your friend. How could... How could you betray him like that? <laughs> Friends, he and I, don't be silly. What? I served him, yes. But then the doddering old fool turned idealistic. He started getting ridiculous notions about helping the poor and the old and the downtrodden. Lifting their taxes and building them homes. Paying for their health care from the state treasury. My father and on and on. wanted all Absolute that. Absolute madness. After all, where do all these tasty delicacies come from? Out of thin air? Mm. Because this country is rich, you've always had everything you ever wanted, eh? But that old fool your father thought we should share the wealth. We must invest in the people, he said. The people are our greatest treasure. What utter hogwash! <gasps> There's only one thing that matters in this world. Call it what you want. Gold, lucre, treasure, money! Money is the only thing that counts. Oh, that's all it is? You've done all of this just so you could be rich? Yes. <laughs> More than just rich. I want to be swimming in wealth. I want my coffers overflowing with gold. I want to be as fat and spoiled as you are. And for that, you killed my father. Well, however it happened, the king is gone. And now, the responsibility is mine. No, that's not true! I will be king! Oh, no. Very unlikely. <gasps> Sensei, how did it go? Security's too tight. I couldn't get close. One thing's for sure. Time is running out. <sighs> maybe... Maybe we should surrender after all. Coward! 
What are you talking about? Well, what do you suggest then? Look at us. How few of us there are. I don't care how strong these strangers are. It's hopeless. <laughs> at least we must get Master Hikaru out. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. Let's go get him. But it's impossible. We can't just do nothing. We've got to try. It's too late. You heard them. It's hopeless. My father will be killed. It's too late to save him now. You're just gonna throw everything away again? Is that it? You're you're just gonna abandon him? What happened? Was I wrong? I thought you were better than this. You just let it all go. Your father, even your courage. The promise we made each other. You throw it all away. You still don't know what really matters. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go save my father. You're on. Master Hikaru, don't be hasty. Relax! <clears throat> don't worry. He'll be okay. No harm will come to him. I'll see to that. Trust me. Oh. Count me in. Let us be off. Are we gonna let these kids show us up? I think we all made a vow to the late king, didn't we? Chamu, Kiki. Chamu. Where is that cat? Uh, well, what do you know? You guys. I thought it was strange, the prince's coach taking off like that. So I went to the palace to see what was up. Oh, wouldn't even let me in the door. They threatened to arrest us. I thought they were going to slaughter us all. So we got the heck out of there and hid in the forest. What's going on? This wasn't our deal. When do we get paid? Wish we'd never come to this stupid island again. Hmm. Yeah. Listen here. I'm not running a charity. I want my money. So who's in charge here, huh? You're right. You're right. I don't blame you for being upset. Hey, you were promised payment. You should be paid, right? Let's see if we can't do something about that. Oh? No! No! Shabadabba! What are you doing to me? No! Stop it! Let go! I've always thought... This would be a more entertaining way of executing people. So far, you're proving that I was right, Michiru. But please, don't overdo it. <laughs> Take the blindfold off. Cray. 
drink it. See that you don't fall off too quickly. I pay good money for this show. <laughs> place of peace and harmony. That's the sort of land I envisioned. Bob. Hmm. What are you doing here again? Oh, well, you see, I... Get out of here! Whoa there, brother. We were summoned by your boss for a command performance. I received no orders. You didn't. Are you sure about that? Hmm? What is that? Entertainment. A simple hanging is so boring, don't you think? Hmm. What the? Uh -huh. That circus bunch again? How did they get in? Shall I send them away, my lord? Hmm. And... Not so ah. fast. Now that's entertainment. Frankly, he was beginning to bore me. The circus? Here? I haven't seen one since I was born. Master Hikaru, huh? please take these arrows. I made them especially for you. They may come in handy. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, according to Kakashi Sensei, Prince Michiru is being held on the upper terrace. Remember, everyone, there's no time to lose. It's all clear. We're ready, Sensei. Woo! Hey, two in the two, but now we got to go. One, two, one, two, three. Woo! Hey, two in the show, but now we got to go. Ah! Uh, all right, let's get this started. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our grand finale. So sit back. And enjoy. It's him. Ishidake! I'm on it! 
Strikes. Are they really here to rescue him? If I'd known it was going to be this dangerous, I, I wouldn't have gone along with the idea. afraid of you trust me right <clears throat> okay then no matter what I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you I promise right me too me three <clears throat> let's do it the upper terrace is off the throne room with all the guards outside it should be unprotected So he was right, that Ishidate, he's a clever one. He guessed that all that ruckus outside was just a diversion. I'll give you a diversion! No, stay back. This one is mine. You sure? Quite sure. <sighs> he and I have unfinished business. <sighs> he's all yours. Go get him! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> I won't go easy on you. I can see the scene. Sakura, what are you? Huh? Oh, how did you guess? Cause you stink. That's how. Little girls wearing heavy perfume that's so tacky. What? Go on ahead. I'll take care of her. Little girl, huh? <laughs> Throne room's this way. Hurry! Gun. 
This is no time for complaining. <laughs> Now then. Huh? You again. To get him, you go through me! With pleasure. <laughs> Now, where was I? That ought to do it. Don't you think, punk?
Hikaru! <gasps> it's never too late! <gasps> Trust me, you can do it! Chomu, hurry! I can't do it without you. Will you take me to my father? Father. Bad you forgot to watch your step. Dead. <gasps> Father! <laughs> um, thank you, Hika. Chomu! Jabba Jabba! Uh, oh, oh, Get oh, no, back here, no, you no, traitor! So he was the one pulling the strings, huh? What to 
do. That's right. Michiru. Destroy Michiru. Naruto, no! No! Forget that brat! Michiru! Michiru! Wait! What are you doing? Are you listening to me? Forget the boy! Why you, Ishidate? Are you forgetting what you owe me? You were nothing but a wandering renegade, exiled from your homeland! An outcast! Who took you in? Who paid you? Ishidate! Stop, you ungrateful dog! Listen to me! Finish this game! You can do it! He's coming! Jamu! Kiki! Father! You can do this! Naruto, Kiki, Chamu, look at them. They've been risking their lives for us all along. For us and for this land of ours. We can't give up after all they've done. We owe it to them to stand and fight. <gasps> Sensei, in spite of my difficulties, I kept my promise. Sensei, are you okay? Sure. Nothing a couple weeks of intensive care won't cure. Yeah, all right! That means we've got a couple weeks of vacation duty! <laughs> I can't thank you enough, Naruto. Now I can see what a fool I was. Not only did I not understand, I didn't even try to understand the great things my father was trying to do. It's all about knowing what really matters. I think I finally see what it means to be a king. Of course, that's no guarantee that I'll ever be any good at it. But I'll give it all I've got. Just like my father did. <laughs> Don't worry. I got a feeling you're gonna do just fine. <laughs> you think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you'll let me help, right? Of course. Counting on you. <laughs> I won't forget what happened here today. Huh? 
I'll never ever forget the sacrifices everybody made. And the way we all joined forces to defend what's truly precious. <laughs> but most of all, I won't forget the friends I've made. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget the things that really matter. You know, once things get back to normal here, 
I think I'll try visiting your mother again. <gasps> After all, Hikaru, isn't that the lesson we've both learned? Fighting for what really matters and never giving up.